Okay. What's up, guys? Spiderbite here. We're playing a new game here on NGT Mobile Gaming. This is called Boom Beach. I have this thing. Apparently, I have this thing for uh, Supercell because this is another Supercell game. Clash of Clans, Heyday, Boom Beach. Uh, this is a beta, and it's only available in Canada and Australia currently. So if you're in the States or any other country and you're trying to find it on iTunes, you're not going to find it in your region. All right? So... Let's get started. This is kind of, a, I guess, a, a let's play for the beginning of this with uh, Boom Beach. And apparently, Commander, we've made a successful landing. Well, thank you, sir. This will be our base of operations against the Blackguard threat. Who's the Blackguard? How should the men address you, Commander? Well, this is uh, actually Spiderwife's iPad. No, we don't want that. We want... Spider wife. That's how the uh, they're gonna uh, they're gonna address us. Hey, spider wife. What do you want us to do? Attack. Okay. Yeah, I do have this on uh, on my iPad, and I'm replaying just the beginning here on uh, Spider Wife's iPad. That name suits you perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> All right. There's our base of operations. Now what? What do we do? We can't let the enemy surprise us. All right. Very well. Let's build a sniper tower. We need eyes on the horizon at all times. Well, I can, I can deal with a sniper tower. Let's put a sniper tower. You want me to put it right there? Done. Look at that. Ooh, zero gems to complete. Nice. The lookout reports enemy ships approaching. What? We're getting attacked already? Who's that guy? I'm Lieutenant Hammerman of the Black Guard. Dude, what happened to your eye, man? I don't know. These islands belong to us now. We'll crush your puny base. Whatever. I have a sniper tower. Let's hope our sniper can hold off the attack. All right, let's watch this fight. Here come the troops. No! No! Why are you attacking our people? No, the landing party. He's got four guys. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Sniper, baby. Come on, sniper. Sniper, no sniping. Yeah. Oh, Hammerman. So you beat back my scouts. Next time, I won't make it a fair fight. Haha. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Get a, get out of here. Our sniper won the day. Give that man a medal. But um, it's Spider Wife. She's not a man. Uh, we need to take the initiative and free our neighboring islands. Let's get a strike force ready. Assign riflemen to a landing craft. Okay. So there's a landing craft. We're gonna put some uh, riflemen in there. Zero gems. Nice. See, it's a little diff a little bit different from uh, Clash of Clans um, with the uh, with with this game. At least it's not pushing you to use the gems unless they uh, redo that when when they release the game in full, where they'll force you or kind of not really force you, but entice you to use your gems right away, kind of like they did in Clash. Uh, we need another landing craft for a strong enough strike force. Okay, I'll have another landing craft. Nice, finish. Let's load up this craft with more riflemen. Yes, sir. I thought I was in charge. This guy's just telling me what to do. All right. Riflemen ready. Let's take the fight to the enemy. Let's do it. Okay, so here's our map. Wow, that's kind of a small map area, but I think it opens up. Whoa, look at all the clouds. It's very cloudy. With a chance of rain. Okay, here's the enemy base right here. Uh, I think it's like XP level 1. I think that's what that 1 indicates. So we're going to go attack the enemy base. Here we go. Ooh. Artillery? Yeah. Let's shoot the uh, the machine gun with artillery. Woo. Shoot it again. Can we not shoot it again? I don't know. He wants to select troops. Okay. Tap on the short to deploy units. Go, 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 go. Go. Attack. Can we send in one more, another one of these? Yeah. We did it. Okay, now destroy the rest of the base. We must free the island residents. There, there's our main building. Oh, we totally wiped them. We totally kicked his butt. Look at the people. Hey, they're jumping out. Thank, thank you for driving away the invaders. We will return the favor. Oh, thank you. Victory is ours. So we got one medal, 600 gold, and 450 boards. And we had no casualties. Hooray! How epic is that, hmm? Uh-oh. Great job. We destroyed the enemy base and saved the local islanders. Looks like they're having some fireworks going on there. Let's go back to home base. Okay. 
Now what? Commander, we need to build up this base and increase our strength. The Blackguard are evil. We'll fight them on the beaches and never surrender. And that's it for the intro, I think. So now we have this base. So we've got uh, this residence. And the residence produces gold. Health is 1,000. Capacity is 500 gold. And the gold, uh, gold per hour is 120. Then we have our sniper tower. Sniper tower health 1700, damage per second is 40. Snipers in the tower shoot at an enemy attackers. They're armed with rifles that have good range and do decent damage. Cool, looks like the uh, archer tower from uh, Clash of Clans, kind of. Uh, here's our headquarters. So our health is 10,000. The headquarters is the nerve center of your base. Upgrading the HQ unlocks new base buildings and upgrades. If your HQ is destroyed, the attacking enemy wins the fight and can steal your resources. The HQ receives damage whenever one of your base buildings is destroyed. Interesting. And then we have this thing, which is the sawmill. Uh, health is 1,500 capacity, 500 boards, and wood per hour is 120. The sawmill produces wood, a construction material for building simple structures. Upgrade the sawmill to increase its production rate. Okay. So then we have um, like trees and, and stuff that we can we can take. They're the mangrove trees. So it costs gold to remove them, and then you get wood in return. The stones we can't remove until we have level 6 headquarters. And then as we move back into the base, like these trees here, we can't remove. We need level 5. If you go to even further back, you need level 13 to remove uh, those trees back there. So you can rem you know clear out this area bit by bit and then grow your base that way. Uh, also over here, we have our gunboat, which is a level 1. Uh, energy, so energy 12, and that's what's used up when we're firing, you know, when we're launching our, our missiles or whatever, uh, flares, etc. So it uses up that energy, and I think as you upgrade your gunboat, your energy will improve. The gunboat provides fire support and battlefield supplies to your troops. It can also relay movement orders with flares. Upgrade your headquarters to access new gunboat abilities and upgrade the gunboat to increase its energy capacity. There you go. And then we have the two landing crafts. So if we look at the info over there, uh, troop capacity right now at level 1 is 5. Each landing craft carries a squad of troops for beach assaults. Upgrade the landing craft to carry more troops to the battle. And then um, you can change the troops. So right now we have uh, five of these guys. They're uh, riflemen, and they're level 1. I'm not sure exactly how to upgrade the troops uh, as of yet. I don't think I've upgraded any. I'm not sure. It's not readily apparent. It's not intuitive. Let's put it that way. Riflemen at the ready. Basic infantry units. The riflemen are able to deal out and withstand moderate damage in large enough numbers. They are almost unstoppable. Nice. I like that. So then we have uh, these guys. So level 2 headquarters. Then you can unlock the heavy. The heavy can absorb a lot of damage and still keep on moving forward. He's happy to shield other troops from fire and will take a beating to dish one out. Nice. Okay. And then uh, level 5 headquarters. Who's this? This girl. Whoa. Zuka. For long-range attacks, call in the Zuka. A few Zukas completely, can completely devastate a whole enemy base, but don't let them come under fire from enemy turrets. All right. She looks pretty epic, actually. And then uh, level 8, you get the Warrior. Warrior? He doesn't even have any guns. What? The Tribal Warrior is an awesome sight in battle. He charges fearlessly, knowing that his crystal hammer will heal him with every blow. Wow. All right, and then the last troop they have is the tank. With his powerful cannon and thick armor, the tank is a real war machine. Due to its heavy weight, each tank needs extra energy to land ashore. All cannons and boom mines deal dumb double damage to tanks. Oh, hey, that's the girl that we saved. Thank you for freeing us. Here's some gold to help you fight the bad guys. If you free other villages, I'm sure their tribes will pitch in and help. Well, that's pretty cool. So she, they send boats. Like, as you... Uh, free up these areas, right? So as you attack, oh, there's a chest. I think you just get diamonds from the chest. So I've got 55 diamonds. I haven't used any diamonds on either account yet. Um, but then they send, the, the more areas you clean out, the more gold they send via these boats. So you just click on the, the boat here. Yo, we just got seven gold. So now, um, when you have enough, like all the upgrades, I believe, cost uh, wood. So when you have an upgrade available, and you have enough wood to do it, you get these little arrow signs so that we can upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade the sniper tower. And that's going to cost us 200 wood. 
and it's about five minutes for upgrade. You can only upgrade one building at a time. Um, even with additional residences, you can still only upgrade one building at a time. Um, so I don't know if there is something later on, once you start upgrading your headquarters, that you can then upgrade multiple buildings at a time. But, you know, if I try this one, 350, right, you can only... You can only build one building at a time. Complete the, burn, complete the current building to start a new construction. We're not using our gems. We're saving our gems. Actually, I could probably use them on this account. Just because, but I won't anyway. Because I'm like that. <laughs> and then there's the wood, so we can upgrade this. So it gives you the uh, the bonus. So when you upgrade, we're going to get an additional 300 health, an additional 950 capacity for the wood, and an additional 90 wood per hour. And then, you know, at higher levels of your headquarters you can get, I believe, additional sawmills um, and, and, and additional residences that give you more gold. So I don't think there's anything we can attack. Uh, actually, no, there, there are two other bases we can attack, so why don't we do that and see how now we have the ability to open up more of the map. So if we click on the, uh, the 270 gold, we can explore that, and we found a chest with some more diamonds. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Okay, so we've got this um, this sharpshooter, so we can scout it or just attack right away. So let's let's just scout this first base here, and uh, all he has is uh, a sniper tower. So we're gonna attack. Yes, let us attack, please. So what we're gonna do here is we're first gonna launch some missiles at a sniper tower. Maybe we can destroy the sniper tower. Oh, no, we can only launch two missiles. All right, we don't have enough energy to launch more. All right, so let's send in the landing party. Go, guys! Attack! No, go for the Archer Tower! No! No, we're going to have casualties! Go for the Archer Tower! We See, with the gunboat, once we upgrade the gunboat, we get flares, and the flares will allow us to, um, to pop a flare, basically, on the Archer Tower, and then they'll go for the Archer Tower first. That'll be the first building they go for. Um, during their attack, they won't worry about the two buildings that were on the uh, the outskirts of the uh, the base. But uh, we don't have that ability right now, so we lost two troops. It's craziness. Oh, grab all crystals, crystals. Drop everything else, and let's get out of here. Yeah, you better run, buddy. Look at all the villagers. Thank you for saving us. Those men imprisoned us and took our holy idols. Why are they taking your idols? Victory is ours. So we got 600 gold, 450 boards. I thought we lost two guys, but I guess there was only one. One medal, and we lost one troop. All right, so let's return back. Do, 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 do. So we'll go back to our main base. And uh, so now we have a uh, red indicator on our landing craft. So we got to go here, and we have to reinforce. So it's going to take 20 gold and uh, one minute to reinforce that, uh, that landing craft. And then what we'll do once... Uh, once he's reinforced, we'll uh, we'll go and we'll go and attack the second base and see what happens. Oh, we also have uh, I didn't I forgot about this. We have two additional buildings that we can uh, we can construct. So we have a gold storage, increase the storage capacity, and we have our radar. So once we put down the radar, if we go back to our map, then you know we can only purchase these other. Well, let's do it right now. We'll explore here. So there's Ballistic Threat, and we'll explore here. And we have Sniper... Oh! We have now explored everything as far as the eye can see. So he's going to come in, come in here and explain it. Let's build a radar to discover more islands. Okay. So that's what we have available to us right now without the radar. And then as soon as they're done with the uh, the Sniper Tower upgrade, then I will put down the, uh, the radar. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to uh, to build. Does it say? Build time, two minutes. Okay, so we'll put down the radar, and uh, while the radar is constructing, we'll go and attack another base, and then once the radar is completed, we'll be able to see additional areas of the map, or at least see that we can unlock them, right? So we have very limited. So I think what we'll do, we'll attack the... Let's go scout this out. The volatile materials. So he's got uh, just a machine gun there. So we'll be able to take that out pretty pretty well, especially with the the gunboat launching its missiles. Okay, fourteen seconds left. Let's collect some boards. Um, I mean you can you can 
get rid of these trees. I find that at some point you have a lot more gold than you have boards or wood. So in order to get more wood, in order to upgrade your buildings faster and uh, um, and build your buildings, then uh, you just basically remove whatever trees you can at your current level. Okay, so we're going to build our radar. I'm going to put it right there. So that's going to take two minutes. In the meantime, let's go attack the volatile materials. Here we go. And we're going to launch some uh, some missile strikes on this guy. Boom. One. Two. Ah, Darn it. Okay, landing party. Let's go, guys. Attack the machine gun. Here we go. Come on, no casualties. No, no, hurry up. Yeah! That was easy. Oh, it's level one, right? These are level one bases that we're attacking, so it's going to be easy at the outset. So as far as I can see, there's no sort of multiplayer support. Um, anytime your base gets attacked, it's it's NPC attacks, basically. Uh, I don't know if they're going to plan, if they have plans to add that in later. Uh, I'm not sure. Again, it's a very early beta. Thank you for freeing us. They made us work for days without food or rest. Victory is ours. No casualties. Thank you very much. We got 600 gold, 450 wood out of that. Beautiful. All right. Fireworks again. They love their fireworks. And uh, we've got uh, about 50 some seconds left on our building. Um, we can upgrade these things. What else? We can't... I don't think we can upgrade... No. We have to upgrade the headquarters to level 2 before we can upgrade our sniper tower to level 3. So, you know, there's this whole upgrade tree. The only thing, like... I don't know if this is optimized for iPhone or whatever, but these buttons are huge. And I would like to see... You know, if I select a building, I shouldn't have to click on the arrow to determine that I can't upgrade it yet. Like, I would think they should have maybe a red arrow or something, uh, in my opinion. Or not have the arrow at all. I mean, I think a red arrow would be fine because you still want to click on it and it should still tell you no, you for, you need to uh, you need headquarters level two in, in order to upgrade. But there's no difference between that and if we upgrade our our headquarters and we click on the sniper tower again. There's no difference. There's no difference in the buttons. So um, okay, so there's our radar. And uh, while we're we're gonna go look, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, put down our gold storage. Okay, so if we take a look, so now we have these four additional areas that we can unlock and we can basically explore. So we're going to start with the lowest priced one here, explore for 460. There's rat's nest. We've got explore for 600. There's shell shock. And uh, we're not going to use up the rest of it. Oh, we have another one up at the top that I didn't notice. So there are three more areas that we can unlock. We need to generate some additional gold before we can unlock those areas. So and check out what's behind door numbers three and four, or four and five. All right, so uh, that's about it for our introductory session here on Boom Beach. We'll be bringing you uh, much more here on NGT Mobile Gaming and taking a look at uh, higher headquarter levels and you know specifically some of the some of the defensive buildings, the attack units, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, it'll be good to see this um, this game progress. I don't know. You know, I, I haven't, I didn't play sort of Heyday Beta or or Clash of Clans Beta, so I don't know where those games started and then where they eventually went to. But they're very highly polished games. This one, I think, I think they need to put a lot of work into, and uh, I think could use a lot of uh, a lot of improvement. And I don't know, you know, if I just look at the troops. I mean, those are the only troops that that you have. I, I there's no way for me to see like in Clash of Clans, you can actually see the troops that you haven't unlocked like all the, the defensive buildings, uh, et cetera, that you have available. Well, we don't have that here. Um, well, I guess we do in, in some some fashion. We do have... Actually, we do. Yeah, we have the stone storage, the quarry, iron storage, iron mines. So we do have additional resources, kind of like Clash of Clans, where you have the gold elixir and dark elixir. Well, we have wood, gold, and iron, apparently, here. And then we have our defensive buildings... Etc. The boom mine, the boom can, the rocket launcher, our support buildings. We have a sculptor, build statues. Uh, we've already have the radar, combat academy. So upgrade. Okay, so the combat academy looks like once you get your headquarters to level four, you build the combat academy, and then you can upgrade your troops. So, anyways, we're gonna be uh, on this game for quite some time. 
going forward. So uh, stay tuned. We'll have more for you soon. Spider out.